Hey BC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick response video to uh, Nick Sloan 91's I Wish I Had 100 Subscribers contest. Uh, stumbled across it this morning. I wasn't a subscriber of his channel actually. I just never stumbled across it and I saw Derek did a response to it. Then I kind of followed it back and found out uh, who was doing the contest. So I did subscribe to your, ch to your channel this morning. So uh, glad to be aboard that way. And then also I want to make sure I did a response to your your uh, contest. You had three pretty kind of quick, right to the point type questions, which was cool. Uh, number one, the question you kind of asked about what was uh, easy questions, and I forget. Oh, uh, what was kind of your occupation, what you did for a living, or whatever else. Um, I work in the financial services industry, so I mean I do like you know investments, insurance, and all that, all the money stuff and things of that nature. So uh, that's basically what I do for a living. Uh, question number two was show three albums that are like really summer albums, I think is the way he put it. And I, I kind of changed it up a little bit because for me a, a lot of different albums can be summer albums. It's, um, it's more about the feel good of summer more so than actually summer music. But I definitely agree with one of the, the picks you had which was... Um, that Bella Sebastian, that's what that's my favorite album by them, uh, which I have on vinyl too, so uh, that's definitely a good one. But I kind of changed it up a little bit and kind of picked out three of my favorite summer songs. So instead of doing an entire album, just kind of focusing more on the songs, because that was a little easier where there are some songs that really remind me strictly of summer. And one that I always think about, I mean, whenever I hear this song, the first thing that comes to mind is windows down on a great day going down the highway and just kind of you know road tripping in the middle of the summer that type of thing and uh, it's off of this album here which is the Sundays this is reading writing and arithmetic and it's the song here's where the story ends uh, it's, to me just kind of the, the I don't know it's just the flow of that song and her voice and everything it's just kind of like the good days of summer and I absolutely love it to death so that's probably one of my favorite summer songs Again, I wouldn't say the entire album is that way, but definitely that particular song. The second one on my list would be actually very similar uh, in terms of the feel of the song and even the sound of the band, so to speak. But it's off this right here, which is the 10,000 Maniacs. This is our time in Eden. And the song is um, uh, These Are the Days. Um, I mean, I, I, I love that. I love that song. Again, it's one of those just kind of feel good, you know, just kind of summer type of songs. Uh, especially, I mean, Natalie Merchant's voice. I mean, it's just, uh, I just, just, I don't know. It's a beautiful thing. That's all I can say, but that's definitely a summer song for me as well. Uh, not to mention Can't Everybody Wants. I would kind of throw that one in there too, but definitely These Are The Days. It's a great summer song. But the one song that I remember playing every summer back in high school. Every time I listen to it now, it takes me back to, to uh, you know, just everything about summertime, especially when you're younger and you don't have the responsibilities of all the working and, and all that type of stuff. But it's, I think it's probably one of the ultimate summer songs of all time, which is off this album, which is Van Halen's 5150. And I have the 12-inch of it here, and the song is Summer Nights. Um, I mean, just the lyrics themselves, Summer Nights on My Radio, I mean, that's, it just, every time I listen to that song, it just takes me back to my high school years, just, you know, the, the cruise in the boulevards and all that kind of stuff, and that song just totally captures everything about just chilling out and enjoying great, great summer nights, which obviously is properly titled Summer Nights. So that would be probably my number one summer song. And even this album as a whole, too, I think it's a, it is, if I had to choose an album as a, you know, summer album, this is this would definitely be one. But like I said, I kind of narrowed it down to the song, so. Third and final question was an, show an album that maybe people haven't shown on the, the VC before, that maybe you've never seen on the VC. And I thought I'd twist it up a little bit, because... One thing that people don't show a lot of here on the VC is you don't see stand-up comedy albums. 
And so I pulled out one of the five, I think, five or six Richard Pryor albums that I have. And this is uh, Here and Now, which is one of my favorite stand-ups by him. I mean, Here and Now, Live on Sunset Strip, and then also uh, Richard Pryor Live, I believe, is the other one. Um, is it Live? Here and Now, Sunset Strip, and Live, yeah. But those are, I think, three of the best stand-ups that the world has ever seen, period. Because without question for me, Richard Pryor is the funniest man, dead or alive, ever. The guy was just pure genius and pure laughter. And so I pulled out here and now, because this is definitely one of my favorite stand-ups by him. And by the way, I have all three of the ones I just mentioned on DVD as well, which I watch all the time. So this is one I thought I would just kind of pull out. Again, we don't do a lot of stand-up stuff on here in terms of records that I've seen people show. So that's the one I'm going to share with you. And say if you're a Richard Pryor fan, it's just as funny on vinyl as it is on DVD. So make sure you have plenty of Rich in your, in your collection. But anyway, uh, so those are my answers to your questions. Again, good contest, good quick questions. And uh, as always, BC, we'll talk to you soon. All right, take care.